Recently I've been working with a device that was running OpenWRT. OpenWRT is uh, essentially just a specialized Linux distribution for in embedded devices. So I was using it to uh, to put onto a, a, a Wi-Fi card reader, uh, which then becomes uh, quite cunningly a, uh, a fully fledged uh, OpenWRT router. But that's an, another story, and I'll put a link in the video description to uh, what I was doing there. But uh, whilst I was doing that, I had the need to transfer some files to it, and the best way I found to do that is using this Win SCP software. With this, all that we need to do is to put in the host name and our details. I believe this has to be SCP. So we can see that we're logged into the device now. What I needed to do with the OpenWRT device was to install these uh, packages. Now I couldn't do this directly because the device only had a Wi-Fi connection and I could only connect to it as a client. Uh, I since have discovered a way of, uh, of putting it into an interesting bridged mode where I can connect a sig single Wi-Fi uh, device to both uh, an access point in my network and access it as a client simultaneously. But that uh, again is another story. So suffice it to say I wanted to put those files into the temp directory. So uh, it was simply a, a question of, of taking each one that I needed and uploading it. And it was as simple as that. So there we can see the, the, the file transferred and, and no, no grief at all. So the other thing that I needed to do was to edit some files. Now, if you've ever gone through the horrors of Vi, then you will, uh, you will shudder at the thought However, with this, it's, uh, it's a doddle. You just select the file. So this is where I managed to add two interfaces to the same device. So here we have the OpenWRT acting as an access point, which I'm connected to. And in this interface here, it's connecting to uh, my access point on my network. Um, so that's cunning, but you can see that you can just edit in here. It's, it's WYSIWYG and uh, it's com completely painless. So an absolutely brilliant program. Obviously there's many more things to it and I think uh, I would just be discovering more but I think I thought I would just uh, share that with you and uh, I'll just go on and show you the same sort of process in a, in a traditional Linux environment. Obviously we need to have um, the SSH server running on our Linux Mint distribution to connect to it. So I'm just going to go through and install that. So we need the software manager and search for the open SSH and it's the server option that we need. So with that installed, let's just check, is there anything else to do? Just need to start the service. So we should be good to go now to connect to our machine via SSH. Let's try that out. Uh, here I'm using the portable version of WinSCP. And the host machine is uh, my account. So excellent. We can see that um, we've logged in now correctly and I am viewing the files on my uh, Linux Mint system. We just check in here for, for videos. Uh, this is uh, one of the screen captures that I've just done. So I want to download that, for example, and we want to put it in videos win SCP. So 
So that's just a simple example, obviously, of a file transfer, but you can do a whole, a whole bunch of things in here as well. It's an excellent uh, program, highly recommend it.